support of educational programs, wildlife habitat enhancement, and acquisition, and the preservation of the shooting sports and hunting tradition for future generations. They serve Northern Orange, Southern Person, and all of Central North Carolina. To learn more about the Deer Pushers Association of America, contact Skinny Laws or Seth King directly. The Deer Pushers Association of America, killing tomorrow's trophies today. Orange makes its way through the banner here tonight, and the Panthers have only two more home games after this one. They will play at home again until October 21st after tonight. Of course, this game was supposed to take place on September 30th, but it was rained out, had a late bit of rain, and Orange postponed its game. However, a lot of the games around the area took place. Southern Durham, as we mentioned earlier, defeated Northern Vance. Jordan wound up defeating East Chapel Hill, which was the first win for Falcons coach Anthony Barber. Chapel Hill lost to Oxford Webb. Cedar Ridge is off this week. They'll play again on Friday. They have an important game coming up as well against Northwood. And here tonight, it's Orange versus Northwood here. And the Panthers will be kicking off here to the Chargers, who are in their road uniforms. And again, they'll be playing without their starting quarterback and Alex Parker, Cameron Gonzalez. The backup quarterback will make his first career start here tonight in what is typically a spread outlook here for second-year head coach Brian <laughs> Harrington, man who came on to replace Bill Hall, who was the longtime leader of the Northwood program. He retired at the end of the 2014 season. Northwood stunned Southern Durham last season. It appeared that that would set up a three-way tie for the Big A Conference Championship, but Chapel Hill defeated Northwood on the last night of the regular season. Francisco McKinley on to kick the ball away. Orange will be kicking right to left. Back deep. DeMonte Thomas back to accept the kickoff along with Brandon Harrington, who is the nephew of the head coach, Brian Harrington. And the kick is underway. It's a short one and will be taken by an up back at the 35. Cameron Goins should have... Let that ball go out of bounds. He realized that's exactly what he should have done the second he caught it. So Goins takes the kickoff at the 36, and that's where Northwood will open up first and 10. Terrell Baldwin will start as the running back, the wide receivers, Jack Holick, DeMonte Thomas, Josh Scott, and Trayvon Barnes. The tackles will be Nate Little and Brent Books. The guards, Mike Barone and Jonathan Robbins, and the center is Austin Parsons. From the Northwood 36, here is the backup, Cameron Gonzalez in his first start. And he'll hand the ball away to Baldwin, who looks for room. And he dives up the middle, waiting for him a couple of Panthers. And Baldwin fights ahead for two, turns ahead to the 38. It'll be second down and eight for the Chargers in their white tops with pine green pants. Yeah, you mentioned Gonzalez, Jeff. He's, it's funny to see him back there. For Gonzalez, only five foot eight. the five foot eight senior. It's kind of funny. The running back is about three or four inches taller than him, so when he handed the ball up right there, he really had to hand it up to Baldwin. Pretty much, low snap, and here's the handoff again. Baldwin looks up the middle, but he's hit just as he crossed the 40-yard stripe, and he's hauled to deter from there. A whole stack of orange jerseys were there, including Peyton Wilson, also the man who leads the team in tackles for loss. That's Ryan Sellers, number 83. The gain is good for three, and it'll be third and five. Yeah, we didn't talk much about it, Jeff, in the uh, in the, uh pre-game, but last week the one thing that that Northwood, I mean, I'm sorry, the Southern game really did was solidify Orange's defense. They were as good as we thought they would be. No question about that, especially the run defense. So now Gonzalez pressed perhaps in a passing situation on third and five, going to throw in the flat. The pass is dropped by Baldwin. Just landed at his feet. It was a little bit low. And Jamie, you mentioned Cameron's height. He's only five foot eight, but he's one of the few seniors playing here tonight. And at time, his lack of height might have cost him on that pass to the flat. Yeah, when you have a pass to the flat right there, anybody knows about football. It's basically about a, about a two-step drop, and you just throw it sideways to your left, and he even looked like he struggled to uh, to get that one out there. But we're going to be interesting to see, because the De Panthers' defensive line with Stone Edwards and Sellers and those guys are tall. They're 6'3", 6 6'4". 6 it's going to be hard to throw over those guys. Colt Jones will punt it away to the dangerous Peyton Wilson, who will let this ball bounce. He will not have a return. The ball bounces inside the 20. Good punt by Colt Jones, and it will die out at the Orange 14-yard line. So Orange forcing a three and out, and that will be three and out number 48 out of 74 drives the Orange defense has faced. That is a 64% clip. Basically, that means two out of three drives 
the opposing team is not getting a first down. Yeah, and that's what I was interested to see about in the Southern game because, you know, they were, have been a strong offensive team for the last number of years. And they seem a little down this year, maybe, but to hold them to seven points in a big game right there just solidified Orange's defense in my eyes. Southern really imploded in that game, but Orange pressed him into that. Jackson Schmidt, the quarterback for Orange with two wingbacks. And off will go to Wilson running right. Steps out of a tackle. He's past the 15 and gets across the 20 and is hauled down there. Orange starting Jackson Schmidt at quarterback. Tonight it is Peyton Wilson starting in place of Morgan Pascal. Ryan Pocket in the backfield. Wide receivers Kendall Whitted and Cody Evans. The tackle Shea Hoffman and Cody Danielson. Josh Smith Breeden and Darrell Edwards are the guards. And the center is Blake Taylor. The game. Good for six, out to the 20, and it'll be second down and four. Really, it's a gain of seven, and with almost two minutes gone by. And uh, Puckett grinds it up the middle, and he'll be stopped shy of the first down. Good tackle made on the play by Colt Jones and Armani Baldwin, who patrol the right side of that defensive line. And they're actually going to give Puckett the first down, and we've got a charger down that's 15. Michael P.S. Hayes, the outside linebacker. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> made a free bird kind of tackle right <laughs> yes, there. that's right. <laughs> but that's what you're going to get from Puckett. You know, this orange game, this orange rushing game, you have the home run hitters in Peyton Wills and in Marvante Beasley, but you also have the guys like Ryan Puckett, which you know, it's kind of the three yards in a cloud of dust thing. If you need some tough yardage, Ryan Puckett will get it for you. And they might be going to measure, or I think they're just giving him the first down. Yep. Yep. But a key thing about Puckett, it seems like he never gets tackled going backwards. He always falls forward. Situations like that, you get an extra half yard, get the first down. Beasley and Wilson will be the wingbacks. Puckett the full back with Witted to the near side, Evans to the far. First down for the Panthers. Two minutes gone by. Wilson in motion. Handoff. It's Beasley cutting up the center of the line. Can't break free. Good pursuit by the Northwood linebackers, and they bring him down shy of the 30-yard line. So Beasley, after a career-high rushing game last week where he ran for 196 yards, opens the game with a three-yard carry here. Yeah, well, Orange's running game, Jeff, is a lot like you ever seen those college teams who do a lot of bubble passes and screens, mm -hmm. and they kind of loosen the defense up. Orange's running game is kind of like that. They just, you know, pound, 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 boom, somebody breaks one. That's how they have, have been this entire season. Wilson again in motion. They'll run a toss sweep right his way, looking for blockers, gets them, gets over the 30, and tumbles out ahead close to the 35. Looks like he'll be just shy of the first down. Hunter Queen, who is a 160 pound champion wrestler for the Northwood Charger grappling squad, made the tackle. Yeah, that's pretty interesting right there to Peyton Wilson. You very rarely see him get tackled by one man, but Queen took him on right there and got him on the ground. It'll be third down and a very short one. This ball is at the 33, but Orange only needs about two feet for the first down. Wilson, Beasley, and Puckett again the backs. Schmidt will run the toss. This time it's Beasley running to the outside. Gets held up. It's going to be close. Nice play by number nine, Cameron Goins, the safety, who since that was coming, and the referees are going to blow the clock dead. They're going to say it's a first down. Wow, they can tell that from the naked eye, and Beasley got just enough to get the first down. Yeah, the free safety right there for North and Cameron Goins. Right there. They did a great job of flying up there and making the tackle, and, I think he did get it. It was right there at the sticks. That's still a great open field tackle by Goins. Orange got a kind spot on that one tonight, even get a measurement out of it. So we're in a scoreless game here, almost four minutes in. Orange with a first down at its own 35. And off, Beasley comes around the left end. Look out here. He's to the 40, and Beasley runs into the secondary. Goins once again ties him up, but he's close to a first down. Marvante <laughs> Beasley, really the change of pace back, by far the fastest man in that backfield for the Panthers, fights out for a nine-yard pickup. Yeah, Jeff, and we talked about early in the year, where is the offense going to come from? And Beasley, you can see him steadily week by week getting better. And I think he is about to to take over that number one running back slot right there because he is really progressing each game and getting a whole lot better each game. And he's got speed. He's got quickness and speed. It's very rare that you have both. He's got them both. He opened the scoring last week with a touchdown after a fumble recovery by Kashad Thompson. Schmidt will throw on second and one. He'll chunk it deep down the field and it's intercepted. It is pick off at the 40, 45 to the 50, to the 45, 40-yard 40 line to the 35 and knocked out of bounds. Brandon Harrington, the free safety, had that one thrown right to him. And Northwood forces the interception by Schmidt. That's his fifth interception this year. Yeah, Jeff, uh, Jackson Schmidt right there. He dra dropped back with a lot of confidence, stood in the pocket strong. Cody, he was going to Cody Evans, who was double teaming. The ball, just any way to say it, was just grossly underthrown. Yep. Didn't have a whole lot of pressure on him or anything. He stepped up, made the throw, and it was just 
grossly you know, grossly over underthrown right there. So we have our eye on Jackson Schmidt right there, and that's one thing you don't want to do is throw with just a meaningless interception right there. And we have a personal foul tacked on to that. And it gives it gives Northwood, you know, with their quarterback making his first start, you know, Cameron uh, Cameron Gonzalez, it gives them a lot of field position because they're going to have the ball right around the 20-yard line after the personal foul penalty. So 15 yards against Orange puts the ball at the 18 of the Panthers. Northwood will set up shop. The return was good for 36 yards by Harrington. And now Gonzalez will hand it off. No play fake. Gonzalez rolling to the right. All sorts of pressure coming down, and he will be brought to the turf hard. That was a stiff sack. It was Ryan Sellers, number 83, who comes aboard and makes the sack. That is sack number nine for him this season. Yeah, you're not going to hold the ball very long, get these Panthers. With Sellers and Stone Edwards coming from the corners right there, not only do they have the size, they got the speed too. So Northwood's coaching staff, they're going to have to know, we're going to have to get some quick hitting plays because if you stand back here like that, you're not going to last against this orange defense. Jack Kolick to the right, four wide receivers with one back. Gonzalez stands out of the shotgun, eight-yard loss at second and 18. And the handoff, Baldwin looks for room up the middle, but he just runs up the gut of an orange wall. Gets out to maybe the 25, only a pickup of one. Ryan Sellers and Stone Edwards there to hold his progress, and it will be third and long here. Yeah, and running up the middle right there. Also, we hadn't mentioned his name yet, but he's having a sensational season. Noah Rogers anchoring that uh, defensive line as the nose tackle. It's going to be very difficult to run up the middle against that guy. Hurry up for Northwood. It's third and 14 here. And running to the right, Gonzalez looking. Down the field, pump fakes. Now he throws it up in the air, and it is picked off out of bounds. Eli Haithcock made the interception, but he was out of bounds. <laughs> Gonzalez showed a lot of hesitation, and you can tell this is his first start here. Yeah, well, also, Jeff, there was nobody open right there. And yeah. Orange, with the pressure they can get from their front three, you know, a lot of times they don't need to blitz, so they can drop an obvious passing situation right there. They can drop a lot of guys in coverage, and it's just simply not going to be a lot of people open. When you can get pressure from your front three, and drop eight back in yep. coverage is going to be very difficult. And this is a quick team in the secondary, as you mentioned earlier. So fourth and 16, Northwood will go for it here. Gonzalez takes a peek to the left. He'll throw it in the flat. It is caught by Baldwin. It escapes a tackle at the 15, but he stepped out of bounds shy of the first down. So the arch defense hold, and Northwood was a tad unfortunate there. And Orange has the defense go to work again. <laughs> Pressed back to their own 18. The defense forces a remarkable three and out, all set up by the sack, initially by Ryan Sellers. Yeah, that was actually a good play call right there by Northwood, Jeff. They were dropping uh, dropping everybody back in coverage, a little swing pass to the running back right there. I think Peyton, Peyton Wilson made him go out of bounds, but if it wasn't for that, he probably would have scored on that play. So Arch gets the ball back with 635 remaining. We're scoreless. It's first and 10 from the orange 16. That game was good for eight, but Northwood needed eight more. The toss, Wilson will run out of the I formation. He's grabbed at the line of scrimmage after running around left end. Grabbed at the knees and dropped down by 26, Cameron Rowland. And the gain is good for four. For the junior, Peyton Wilson, who was at NC State this weekend. A new college seems to pop up every weekend where Peyton is attending. One weekend it's Clemson, one week's Wake Forest, one weekend it's App State. This weekend it was NC State. Second down and six, and of course he watched the Wolfpack defeat the Demon Deacons of Wake Forest to keep Wake from going 5-0 for the first time in 10 years. On second and six, Wilson again the call, runs up the middle, past the 25, breaks out of a tackle, fumble, 30, fumble. lost the football, ball is free, Northwood has recovered. The second orange turnover in as many possessions, and this time it was Michael Hayes who recovered it, and if there's one drawback to Peyton's game, it's that he does put the ball on the ground. Well, Jeff, right there, he was just going up the middle, and it looked like maybe the start of a vintage Peyton Wilson run where he broke three or four tackles and was carrying two or three more people with him. But, you know, he running so hard he forgot the football, and this is a bad sign for Orange coming out. What we didn't want to see after the game against, uh, against Southern, two possessions on offense, two turnovers. And from your quarterback and your and your best player, that's not, not what you want to do to start a game off with. So this drive will start at the Orange 38 for Northwood. They're going left to right. We're still scoreless halfway through the quarter. And here's Gonzalez stepping back in the pocket, going to chuck it deep down the field. It's up for grabs, and it he is caught. It. He caught it. Soaring through the air. Oh, and no. no, they say it's incomplete. Looked like that Alex Long may have given it up. It was Josh Scott who was out there who came through. But he couldn't quite haul it in as the ball hit the turf. 
And it'll be second down. Yeah, for Northwood right there, they uh, had, a, I think it was uh, 